sleeves over the pipe, you see the lower part, and they actually show it that they slide over the uh, upper pipe, and then we slide the racks together, so I'll put those four on. Take the time to... Once that's done, you slide the two bits together. Rubber grommets is going to be the fun bit. There we go. Slide that up. I can see the holes lining up here. So now we need to same screw that out of the way. I'm actually going to screw it straight over the top if I can because I'm never going to get that back again. Looks like they're trying to keep water out of the joint. If I slid it back out of the way like they're suggesting, I know that I would never ever be able to slide it back on again. They're really tight. I don't even know. I can't slide it anyway. So we're just going to put the screw through the little hole and see how we go. There we go. That's started. It's in. Make sure it's square. It'll go. <laughs> putting the front bar on it's already in place so I'll just make sure that they're tight and then we're putting on here the uh, little clips um, to mount that front wind deflector. Wait, so just check the tightness. They just open up clip on one two three across the top that Way. This has a front and a back, of course, so I was just checking that that was the right way around. So putting those in across the bottom like that. Getting the wind deflector. Take the back bit of protective plastic off first. And we've got all of our bolts here. Some spacer washers, plastic washer, we've got rubber. We've only got five rubbers, so there's only one. So we'll put no other washer so I'll put that in then the rubber and then put it into place on there now as you can see here there's a spot a spot for the nut to actually sit into that clip so it kind of even sits in nicely and stays there so I'll slip that into the, this little spot in the back Now the next one, rubber washer, bolt, the rubber washer, bolt in place, and again, not doing enough at all tight, so that wind deflector is going to need to be lined up at this point. All that expense, I mean, part of it's advertising to have the rhino rack on there, but it's also obviously going to make a difference to the noise um, level. The next job is 
mounting these X plates onto the side and they are just clipped on to that. So it doesn't, I don't see any screw holes or screw mounts. I'm thinking they're just going to clip on. It's not great for security, but uh, clip it on, see how we go. There's a gap here, so I'm going to line up that rubber gap away from that. And it doesn't appear to have a top and a bottom. attached onto the car. This came supplied with that little bit of rubber sitting in crooked and looking like that and it looks like the holes line up here and I was trying to get it to sit in a position to get it to sit flat and behave itself and wondering how we weren't going to mark the bars of this metal edge but that's just how they've transported it. That needs to come out. Uh, this needs to turn over and you see those holes actually line up there, there and there. So that clips into place now that's going to be the underneath that will come under the bar and the bar will cross as you can see um, right here with my giant finger pointing it at that those bolts will drop down bolt into there and there and that will hold the crossbar so I'll assemble the rest of these and uh, get it all in position okay let's do one of these out of the packet so you can see it go to woe put it on something white so it'll contrast nicely with the black and open it up each packet has got a couple of stainless steel bolts, uh, a plastic clip, that's the bit that goes underneath, and a rubber thing. As I said, looks like they all line up, but you actually need to pull that out and turn it over and then clip it in place like that. So that clips, that clips, that clips, and that all holds together. You've got the fitted bolts here that we're going to screw into. That's one. And this here will actually clip through the rack. Um, metal to the top this goes over your bar and that clips in place over the bar so it's like holds and then when it bolts it bolts through the outside there so the, the mounting bars on your roof rack are there and then that will screw into there like that let's take it double bars here on the roof you have a, a single bar here and then the double bars they're the ones we're mounting onto so number one on the double bars that sits down on top so then all that's left is to bolt the rack actually up onto the roof you can see here the um, top half this just clips together and sits in place and then this little rocker comes up underneath we uh, get our two stainless steel screws and we drop them through I'll just sit in place one and two so then we get our allen key we lift this into place so it's touching and then just do a couple of turns on each side you want this to come up square so a couple of turns so it's caught couple of turns so it's caught that's actually in place of course you've got to line up the, the rack before you get to this point exactly where you want it then that's ready to go I'm just going to count these turns and um, try and keep them equal just so that it um, keeps the bracket sitting square that's in firm as you like tight and wonderful so that's how they look and that's how they look that's the front one as well so there we go that's on ready for the camping or what other advances you've got to um, get stuff up on your roof great um, solid rack uh, I'm a bit nervous about the fact it's steel rather than aluminium it does make it heavier and also susceptible to rust but uh, we'll see how we go it's a good solid rack I'm going to use it you know, quite heavily. So uh, I look forward to seeing how this one goes.
it's much stronger. I did have an aluminium one, just a light one, and uh, it broke under the lightest of load. So that's the reason I've now got a steel one. As I said, it's a bit heavier, but I'm after something that's a bit stronger and hopefully gonna last a bit longer.